What's going on guys, and welcome back to another episode of my Spurs career mode. This episode, we have the January transfer window. Well, the beginning of it, at least. I'm not hope. probably, I might get over it done in one episode, but I doubt I will. It'll probably be a two-episode thing inside of the transfer window. But first of all, before we go anywhere, we actually have Chelsea to play once again. Last episode, we played them and we drew two all. But today I'm hoping for a much better result. So let's move on. And let's see what kind of team we're going to come up against today. First of all, let's just uh, make sure everybody is fit and ready. I have a feeling that this is the team I'm going to go with. Not particularly keen. I want Paulinho back. He's back in about a month's time. Once then, we can start improving the team. Right. Team we're going with world class Spurs v Chelsea. Let's go. Right, here we go, Spurs v Chelsea. Once a classic this season, it actually finished 5-3 to Tottenham. Actually, an incredible game. You'll see we're in second, Chelsea are in fourth, very tight at the top. Stoke's still up there for some reason, and we're actually nine points behind them. Looks like they're going to win the league. <laughs> That's never going to happen in real life, at least not for a very, very, very long time. Let's take a look at the lineup. That is my lineup. Lloris in goal, Walker, Fazio, Vatongam, Davis in defence, Kapue, CDM, Lamedo and Chadley on the wings, Eriksen at Cam and Dumbia and Bonnie leading the attack. Let's take a look at Chelsea's lineup. Any minute now. <laughs> Come on, handshakes to get through. Come on, show me the Chelsea team. Right, we've got checking goal, Ivanovic, Terry, Zuma, Felipe Luis, Ramirez, Matic, Willian, Hazard, Oscar, and Diego Costa. That is the perf the first team of Chelsea, apart from Zuma, who would normally be out probably for Cahill. Czech is in goal this time and not Schwarzer, so we're in for a much tougher game in beating the goalkeeper. Let's go. Alright, Batongan. Don't know why you suddenly switched to left back with Davis moving in, seeing as how you're taller. Oh no, Oscar on the ball. Matic again. Oh my god, no. Oh, what a save. No! Oh my god. You've got to be joking, mate. Matic shoots. I then. What happens? Dio Costa is allowed to just tackle me right there. You, that is the luckiest goal you're ever going to see in a game of FIFA. Ah! Oh. oh no, no, no. That's it, game over. Oh my god, Diego Costa is so deadly. Oh, I fell asleep. I completely, completely lost track. Of Diego Costa's run, and I am now 2-0 down. And if if I was a betting man, I would say that that is game over. I can't see myself scoring two goals in seven minutes after failing to even get close in 83. Good finish, though. Oh, come on! How? Oh, I've, I've, lo I've lost. I've just lost. That's Schurler. Oh my god. Oh. I'm not going to be able to... Oh. Oh, I'm, not, I'm fed up by watching it. That's game over. Uh, well, that is the end of the game. It has finished with a 3-0 loss. Very, very poor performance from myself with poor goals to concede. I mean, Diego Costa, Schürrle, and... Oh, Diego Costa as well, yeah. Two from Costa, one from Schürrle have completely destroyed me. Now to get into the transfer window and let's buy some players. Right guys, we're here on my shortlist and my first priority in my view should be a 
centre defensive midfielder, though I have just put Pjanic on there because I've just learned that he's actually requested a transfer and they've accepted it. Not sure how much I've actually got because I want to start offering players as well. And my first player I want to offer is Mason. Or should it be Aaron Lennon? Or Kabul? I could offer Kabul maybe? Yeah, let's offer Kabul to Roma with... How much is Kabul worth? Kabul is worth 5.5, .5, so we're going to offer five, 4 million with Kabul for Pjanic. I want to go one at a time here because I need to keep an eye on my budget and make sure I've got enough money. Because I might have to sell players and that's my next go. Okay. Offer to manage New Zealand. No, thank you. Offer for Larice. Ah, uh, it's... Believe it or not, it's actually tempting. Purely because I have Michelle Vorm in the back. Plus, I really could do with the money. So if I accept that, I get 35 million to spend on players. Let's go with 40 million. If they give me 40 million, I will accept. Purely because I'll have backup, and I will have enough money then to buy a load of players. Because I need it if I want to, if I, if I want to get further into these competitions. Because I've dropped down to fourth already. So we'll see if Lloris transfer goes out. Okay, they, they, they don't want to spend it. Okay, we'll reject the offer, but we're not going to say no. An offer for Soldado. Okay, that's a start. Please leave this time. You have refused to leave on every occasion in the past. Okay, this game against Burnley, I'm going to sim. They're near the bottom of the table, so I should be picking up three points anyway. Okay, they're not interested in the player, and the cash sum is not enough. Okay, so let's try someone else. Let us try... Let's try Kirikesh. Yeah, let's try Kirikesh. Maybe that'll work. Kirikesh and 4 million. Okay, we'll do that. Then what we're going to do, we're going to go into our transfer. Let's look at the sell players. I've got a lot of players out on loan. I'm going to put... Kabul up for sale. Because I don't want... I don't need him. And he's, you know, he's the oldest defender I've got. Who else have we got? I th I'm thinking... Mason, I'm going to sell. And the problem is right now, all my players are actually, like, at the club. Uh, Lennon, he left in real life, so I'm going to be realistic. I can get 10 million for him. I'm going with that. Now, up front, I have a bit of a situation. I'm going to transfer list of, yeah, offer pending, of course. But once the offer's gone through, I'm going to put uh, Soldado up for sale if he doesn't go through. I'm going to stick with the same team against Burnley. I'm going to pick up three points. I mean, I was probably going to anyway. I'm sorry I simmed it, but I really want to focus this episode on getting transfers done. Okay, a goal at last for Dumbia. Yeah, I don't mind. Yes, he went. He's finally gone. Okay, I've got some more money. I can spend. Okay. Shortlist. I'm, I'm going after uh, Pjanic. I want to get a new right mid, and I'm thinking of any one of these. And Aubameyang would cost me a bit, I think, maybe. But we're going to try a five, a £6 million pound offer first. I mean, I could go for a straight swap. I could go for Aaron Lennon for Aubameyang. I'm pretty sure they accept that, because Lennon's actually rated higher. So, even though he's nowhere near as good as Aubameyang, no way. Alright, uh, two cup competitions. Okay, we got an offer for Harry Kane. Oh, interesting. Let's try game 15 million for him. I'm certainly willing to let him go and negotiate each other. Ah, oh, why? Why would you do that? Pjanic, you... Okay, Harry Kane wants Soldado's spot. Yeah, that means a bench spot. Dortmund have signed Begovic. <laughs> That's ironic. In my Dortmund career mode, I've actually signed Begovic. Okay. Okay, let's... Oh, no. I don't want to do that. Let's take a look at defensive mids. Because Pjanic is now off the table. Actually, I put some on my shortlist. Let's have a look at those. Okay. 
Kadira. Kadira is always the one you want to go for if you want to sign a pre-contract. But I need a player now. But I'm going to, I'm going to try and sign him for next season. He's going to be crucial, no doubt about it. Okay. This guy I put on here because apparently he does grow a lot. And also those stats there. But right now I'm interested more in looking for someone like Arda Turan. Cabello is definitely someone I want to bring in. And he's just arrived at Newcastle. But hopefully I can try and entice them to Lely. I'm going to inquire about him. Turan or Koke? I'm thinking Koke because of the price difference. Plus there's only two range difference. I mean, Cheryshev is a really good player, don't get me wrong, but... Okay, let's try... Okay, first of all, let's make sure that these deals go through. Because I need to make sure... Okay, we've got a cup competition against uh, Bradford. I'm assuming that's FA Cup. Okay, 12.5. I'll accept that. I'm, wi I'm willing to let Harry Kane go for that. Okay, 27.5 million. Yeah, I knew it was going to be expensive. Switch to comp competition team. And let's get ourselves through the competition. If I don't win this, I'll be majorly surprised. And... Skip. 3-0. Great win. As you know, guys, I don't play the domestic cups like FA Cup or Capital One Cup. I go on simming. The only game I'll play is the final. Okay, we got offers. Offer for Vertonghen. The sum is too low. Stambul is now out for two months. So that definitely increases my need of a defensive mid. Paulinho is back from injury. That's great. So let's try and get Aubameyang. How much did we offer then? We offered six. Let's try ten. Okay, ten million. If that doesn't work, I'll try offering Aaron Lennon as part of the deal. We got off for Tongan as well. Nope, I'm not selling for Tongan. He's 83 rated. He's my highest rated player right now. Okay. Cup game against Man United. This is the semi finals of the Capital One Cup. So there's two legs. Off for of Kabul. He's perfect. I don't mind how much. Actually, no, I want more than that. I want six. I'm not interested in just the transfer budget. I'm also interested in freeing up the wages because for some reason. Tottenham's players earn a ridiculous amount of money. Okay, we've got a cup game against Manchester United. But first we're going off for Dumbia. Okay, so maybe we should go with... No, I'm not going to sell him. I need him, he's my top scorer, man. <laughs> Alright, well, they've matched the 6 million for Kabul. Okay, we're getting, we're getting somewhere. Keep the same team as that. Uh, just fix it, auto replace. See who actually gets put in the team. I mean, that team is fairly good. I mean, most of those players would get into a first team at somewhere, and that is one strong Man United team. And we've lost 2 0. Wow. Better hope for a good turnaround. I'm still not going to play it, though. I'm still going to sim it. Okay. We've got offers for Bonnie and Lloris. Oh, that's a lot of money. 25 million, and I will sell Bonnie. I know I've only just signed him, but... Oh, wow. Okay, we're getting somewhere. PSG will pay over the odds for these sort of players. And Lloris goes to PSG in most career modes I've seen, so they might accept it. They want 13 million. Okay, Kadira, what is it? No, no, no. You don't want, you don't want to move because it's not a top team. You move everywhere else I go. Okay, let's try £170,000 a week for Kadira. If that doesn't work, I'll just give up on him. Okay, Harry Kane's gone to Barcelona. Okay, 13 million. I'm sorry I'm going to sim the game against Sunderland as well, guys, but I really want to get this actual transfer window done today. Okay, we've got some few days to go, so hopefully we can get, well, at least a transfer accepted soon. All right, PSG, they want, they want to spend 26. They only, they only want to spend 21. I'll accept it for Bonnie. God, I'm taking a risk here. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna drop it by 10 mil. We're gonna go with 35 million for Larice. 
With all that money I can spend, I can literally buy every player that I need right now. Okay, are we at home or away against Sunderland? I'm assuming we're going to be away. Okay. Scotland, no thank you. Kadira has declined again, so no. Kabul has gone to Dortmund, great. We are at home, and I'm going to sim it. I am sorry that I'm doing this, but I really, really need to move on with the transfer window. I'm, I'm going to get the entire thing done in this episode. Okay, 3-0, great win. I'd have probably won it anyway, let's be honest. Okay, Schneiderlin wants to leave. Interesting, and I know he's good. Okay, let's try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for him. It's, it's actually realistic as well. That's the best thing about this deal. Actually, we're gonna, we're gonna have to offer a fair bit. I'm gonna go with 12 million right there. 12 million for Schneiderlin would actually be pretty good. Offer for Mason right there. Yeah, you can go to Sunderland. I don't mind. I'm bringing in Schneiderlin to replace you, so. Okay, or Bamiyang. Offer has been accepted. We're offering a crucial first team player because that is exactly what he's going to be. It's probably going to have to be Lamella going on the left if I don't sign Koke. But I'm not sure. But I can pretty much guarantee I'm not going to have enough money. But if I sign Cabela, I can put Ericsson on the left. Okay. They're really, really stubborn about this deal. So we're going to try and get 32.5. I really, really actually want to kind of sell him. Okay, Wilford Bonnie has gone now. So I could change the formation now to have one strike. Because I think, only, I think only have one in the club. Which is quite bad. So Wilfred Bonnie lasted about six months. Oh, okay, Lois has accepted. It's to be transferred. Ah! Okay, that's actually made things a lot easier. Okay. Okay, update from Spain. That's the Cabela thing. Mason's gone. Aubameyang has accepted, so let's get him in the team right now. I'm hoping to God Lloris's offer doesn't go out already. Okay, we've got an offer for Hugo Lloris. I want to go with 30 million. He's asked to leave as well, so this might go well. I'm sticking it at 30 million, and hopefully... They'll accept it before the board come in and say sell him. Because that would annoy me. 15 million for Schneiderlin. Okay, I can go along with that. Okay. They've stopped pursuing. I don't mind because I've had more offers for him. In fact, let's start the deal for Cabela now. I want to go down a bit. I want to I try 20 million here. I don't want to spend all my budget on one player. I know Cabela grows. He grows quickly as well. And he's also a very solid player. I love him in this game. Okay. They've matched it. And they've matched it. He's going to one of either Barcelona or Bayern. I'm putting a bet on Barcelona. Question is, do I bring in another goalkeeper to replace him? Because I really could do with it. Okay, except for Schneiderlin. Okay, we're offering, the, we're offering the 70k. We'll offer him an important first team player. Because crucial would mean that I'd have to replace Paulinho. But I could go 4-2-3-1 in this situation. Luis has gone to Bayern. Oh, I was wrong. They won. Okay, we've sold him. Okay, 21 million. Happy with that. And I've got plenty of money to spend. I could make a whole new team out of this. Okay, Pogba's set for a Man City move. Ah, I forgot about him. That would be a good signing. All right, we've got a contract offer accepted for Schneiderlin. He's in bad form as well. <laughs> That's not a good sign, but I don't mind. Offer accepted for Cabela. Okay, we'll offer him uh, 70,000, three years. And we we'll, won't specify our squad role. I'm getting some good players here. I'm getting a decent squad going. Okay, fear agree for Schneiderlin. Let's have a look at his rating in a minute. Found all I can. Re Cabello is accepted. We've got a new player. We've still got 30 million left to spend. Okay, let's try and sign some new fullbacks. Okay. Let's go straight into here. P 
Peace check. Okay, Coleman, I'm going to remove now. We've got Danny Alves, who's 31. We'll remove him. So between Carvajal and Peace check. I'm thinking Peace check. But Carvajal is good. But I need someone who's going to be like in front of Carl Walker. So Peace check is going to have to be. Okay, so he's worth 10.5, so we'll go straight in with an offer of 13. And also, I do want to sign Marcelo. Because I absolutely love him in this game. And we're going to go with an offer of 13.5, which is his actual value. Though I have a funny feeling it's going to cost me a fair bit more. I don't know any... Like pre contracts I can actually sign right now. Okay, transfer accepted for peace check. Thank God. Two years, and we won't specify. Hopefully, we can sign him. And also, okay, they, they rejected that. Let's wait until we get peace check done. Let's just change the squad back. Stambouli is out, so let's bring in Schneider. I need to sign some players. I've only got four reserves. That's not good to see. Okay, we're going to bring out Davis. I might have to recall some players from loans as well. We'll bring Paulinho back into the side for Kapue. In fact, we'll start... Yeah, i got Aubameyang because he's supposed to strike it, can't he? That works. We'll play Cabello, actually, in this game. Uh, yeah, we'll give... That's the team we're going to go with. Save that. So yeah, I, I might have to recall a few players, so a bit of budget might have to be saved for that. Just make up some reserves, because obviously if injuries occur. Okay. I'm liking the fact I've got Vorm. Okay, we, we lost 1-0, I mean, we're out of the Capital One Cup, but we, we got to the semi-final, and we've got a game against Charlton. So we only had two, three Premier League games this episode, and I've played one of them. Okay, they were disappointed by that, I don't really mind. Alan has suffered a dead quad. I don't mind. <laughs> you want, okay. You can be persuaded. One, two, three, four, five. How's an extra 50 grand going to do it? Surely you're going to be enticed to move now. Okay, we're approaching deadline day. And we're going to get... Oh, no, it's going to make me play the game against Charlton first, isn't it? Okay, we've, we've signed peace check. And we've got 17 million plus 300k in wages. So we can still theoretically pull off the deal for Marcelo, which would actually make every player in my team an 80, 80 plus rated. But I'm starting to think that maybe I should go with a left mid. Maybe. No, a striker? Oh, actually, I want. Okay, let's change back to the normal team. Okay. Uh, I haven't gone to the striker, so it's going to make things interesting. Formations, I'm going to go with a good old 4-5-1. Dumbia, there's Ericsson. I'd, I'd have Aubameyang on the right. Lamella on the left. That would be the team I'd play, actually. Right there. Schneidlin would come into that for Stambouli. Cabello would go on for Lennon. And I think I'd bring in probably Townsend. Peace check would probably start as well for Kyle Walker. And I'd probably bring Kyle Walker onto the bench. I think I'd bring out Kapu and bring Schneidel in. So yeah, that's the team I've got so far. So everyone's pretty good apart from Davis. So I'm thinking maybe I should bring in Marcelo. Yeah, I'm going to go with Marcelo. This episode's going to be quite long as well, because I've got the entire of my transfer window in it. So we tried his actual value. Let's try 15 million. And if need be, I can bring down the budget a little bit. So let's do that now, actually, because it's pretty... Okay. I don't want to do too much. I need about 200k. Okay. So we can... I thought to go up to 22 mil, but I'm not really sure I want to go that high. Okay. They want 26.5. Right. Interesting. 
Okay, we're gonna try 15 million plus a player. But who? That's the question. I wanted to take Ben Davis purely because if I have a Davis, let's see if they say they're interested in the player. If not, I can go with Danny Rose. I'm I'm fairly sure they're gonna want someone. And okay, game against Charlton. Okay. I don't want to manage Hungary. Aaron Lennon, except I think I'm gonna to have to recall players off loan as well to cover the positions. They're not interested in the player. Okay, we got another nine million though, so we can go up to like. Let's just start with twenty-two. Let's just go. No, no. I'm offering Davis as well. I don't want to do that. They should turn around and say no because they're not interested in the player. If they do, then great. But if they don't, okay. I have no idea what or who I'm playing up front with. Dumbi, I'm playing. Okay, Aubameyang. Because I forgot to change the formation for my cup team. FA Cup away at Charlton, and we are going to lose. Great. Okay, got player injured. Remy Cabela's out for a day. How much have I spent? It's gonna be a lot, isn't it? 62 million I've spent, and I've sold 81.2 million pound worth. Made that 90 because. Aaron Lennon has gone to Sevilla. They're not interested in the player, so that's great. So we can remove that, and let's go up to 25 million on a fullback as well. This is ridiculous. Okay, accept it so I can get the contract done. Okay, 25 million. Offering crucial. Come on, Marcelo, you can join Tottenham. Is it, is it realistic? Maybe? We're going to reject all offers for Kirikash now. We're going to reject all offers for anyone else purely because I haven't got the numbers. Eight hours left to get this deal done and he's told us no. Okay. We're going to have to give him a fair bit of money here. We're going to go with 180k. Come on, you're getting extra 50 grand a week. And you're joining the best league in the world. Well, kind of. You might be leaving the best league in the world. I'm not sure. <laughs> there we go, he's accepted. Another sign in. And now let's blow our budget on just recalling a few players. Alright. I I can only have five What what do you call them? Uh reserves. I always want to have at least eight, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna recall three players. But I wanna make sure they're players that I could potentially use. Holtby I could potentially use. So I'm going to recall him for 1 million. Okay, who else have I got out on loan? Right, Tom Carroll. Bentaleb. Okay, recall him. I'll stick with that, actually. I'll stick with those two. I don't want to spend any more money. So I've got, I got Ben Taleb and Lewis Holtby coming back off loan. Let's get to the end of this transfer window. I've spent a lot of money here. I think I've spent, what, it's got to be close to 70 million. 87 million I've just spent in the transfer window. I've made some pretty good signings and I've got a pretty good squad now. I'm going to move on in the next episode to try and carry on with the league process. Plus, also, we do have the Europa League coming up soon as well because we did qualify from our group as le as the leaders did I just see Stoke had signed Dirk Kaut they have for on a free <laughs> good signing for them but anyway that is the end of the transfer window Lamella's out for two days don't mind that end of the transfer window also end of the episode so I hope you have enjoyed if you have please do leave a like Please leave a comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode of my Spurs Karima.